So I don't know if it's the rain or the humidity or what, but someone's smoke alarm in my apartment building is going off regularly this afternoon. So last week I did a bit of a call out on my Instagram, basically, see? It only ever lasts that long, but it's really gonna make editing a joy. Anyway, last week I put a call out on my Instagram asking for questions that you guys might have about my new books. And so today we're gonna answer some of those. I was watching this other video today on Instagram by another one of the authors who works with my publishing company. And he filmed his video in front of this like big bookshelf full of smart person books. And I was like, I should do that too. And then I realized that I don't have that many smart theologian books. And a lot of them are on my Kindle. So I'll put my Kindle up there and you can just like use your imagination. Anyway, questions quick before the alarm goes off again. What age group is best for your new books? Well, like everything I write in this kind of space, my first audience is the students at my school. And so everything that I write, I aim to be readable by a like nine or 10 year old. But at the same time, my hope is that if you are like 75 and looking for answers to these questions that they'll still be helpful to you. My publisher says they're for like nine to 14 year olds or something, because if you don't suggest them to someone, you kind of don't suggest them to anyone. But I say they are for nine to 900 year olds. Although if you are a 900 year old, please leave a comment below and let me know, because I, I have some questions for you too. All right, next question. What really does happen when we die? Well, I'm glad you asked because I wrote a book about it. I promise this isn't a setup. So the super short version is this. God made human beings to live forever, real lives in real bodies in a real world loved with his perfect love, like forever. And that is the future reality that Jesus died to bring us back into. So not floating away to some boring cloud land forever when we die, but real lives, real bodies, real world forever. That's the short version. If you ask that question, I assume you have like follow-up questions and hopefully the answers to some of those are in this book. Do I have to be a Christian to read your new books? Yes. No, <laughs> no, you definitely do not. Whenever I'm writing books like this, my first audience in my mind is the students that I teach at school. And because my school exists, you know, in the world, some of the people that I teach are followers of Jesus and some of them aren't. And a lot of them are just still kind of figuring it out. And I hope that these books can be really helpful for all kinds of people. So like, for example, if you're skeptical about the claims of Christianity, if you wonder why people would even believe in any of this stuff, then this book is for you. But equally, if you are a follower of Jesus and you're just having questions and doubts about whether it's all real or not, then this book is for you. What is your favorite book you've ever written? So the honest answer, and maybe this seems kind of like a cop out, is it's usually the book that I've just finished writing. So when I first started writing. The first book that I ever had published was Zach Power, Volcanic Panic. And it didn't even have my name on it, but it was my favorite book that I'd ever got published in a large part because it was the only book I'd ever got published. And then later on, after I'd written a bunch of those, I got to write my own series called The Phoenix Files. And when the first book in that series came out, it was my favorite book that I'd ever written. And then when the next one came out, it was my favorite book that I'd ever written. And you can probably see where this is going, but my current favorite books that I've ever written are these books because they're exciting and new and hopefully they actually are the best thing I've ever written. These are books number 28, 29 and 30 that I've had published, which is mental. But hopefully I'm a better writer at book number 30 than I was at book number one, but I'll let you be the judge. Are you ever going to write fiction again? So I know there are some of you out there who are readers of my fiction writing, and maybe if you're generous spirited, you're like, that's cool that he's writing these other books that are, that are not more novels, but when are you gonna write another novel? Are you ever gonna do that? And the answer is, I hope so. And another part of the answer is I know more information than I'm saying about that, but there have been some emails that I'm not allowed to talk about. But let's, let's say there is a solid maybe. How's that? Are there going to be more books in this same series? And if there are, what are they going to be about? Uh, the answer is yes. 
I think I can say yes. I hope I'm allowed to say yes, because I'm saying it. The hope is that this series will grow into a larger collection of books, all answering different tough questions about God and the Bible and life and faith and all of that stuff. I don't know if I'm meant to tell you yet what the next two are, but I'm telling you now that I'm writing them. Now, of course, there's always the possibility that these will sell like two copies and the publisher will be like, uh, maybe three is enough. But hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully people love them and I get to write more because I really am excited about helping people to see the answers that God has for us to these difficult questions. Final question, where can we buy your new books? Thank you for asking. That's a convenient question to end the video with. So all three of my new books are out in May 2021. You can pre-order them now through a bunch of links that I'll put into the description. And if you would like to read them, great. I would like you to read them too. Guess I should do a proper YouTuber end screen. Click here to watch another video about my books. Click here to watch another great video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Make sure you punch subscribe and hit the notification bell. So aggressive. Why is it always so aggressive? You know, you can just touch those buttons gently. It'll still work.